colonists on the planet Nivel, once a battleground between Earth's United Planetary Alliance and the Imperial Planetary Coalition, flee for safety. They witness a horrifying apparition emerging from the dense foliage. Advancing across the fields are two members of the Earth Assault Force, clad in battle-worn armor discharging energy blasts into the atmosphere. These soldiers seem displaced from a bygone era. Commander Nick and PVT, First Class, Carl of the Earth Assault Force. Despite their fear, the colonists have grown accustomed to this perilous anomaly. The appearance of Nick and Carl betrays their origin from a distant time. These soldiers have remained stranded on this planet for nearly three decades, under the delusion that the war still rages on. A colonist contacts the planetary security forces. Upon the arrival of the authorities, Nick and Carl hastily scavenge for provisions. Initially, a squad of four, one member deserted in 2149, while another perished in combat in 2154. The critical error made by the soldiers is attempting to destroy another cache of vital resources. The ignition of the supplies provides the authorities with the opportunity to corner the soldiers. A skirmish ensues, resulting in Carl sustaining a gunshot wound to the shoulder. Believing Carl to be deceased, Nick retreats into the wilderness. Despite pursuit by the authorities, Nick evades capture blending seamlessly into the dense foliage. This relentless pursuit has persisted since 2145 across this remote planetoid, spanning a mere 45 square miles. In 2145, the Imperial Planetary Coalition initiated the reclamation of Nivel. Abandoned by the withdrawing Earth forces, Nick assumed command of a guerrilla unit tasked with resisting the invaders. Under the directives of Major General Thompson in 2145, Nick was commanded to never yield to the enemy, instructed to persevere by any means necessary until the triumphant return of the Earth forces, they were forbidden from succumbing to defeat. Regrettably, Major General Thompson capitulated shortly thereafter, leaving Nick and his comrades stranded without orders. Forced to seek refuge in the mountainous terrain, Nick and his unit remained vigilant for survival while seizing any chance to disrupt enemy operations. With the cessation of hostilities, bombers from United Planetary Air Force deployed informational pamphlets urging the remaining insurgents to surrender. Enclosed within were directives from General Malcolm urging compliance and surrender. However, directives disseminated by United Earth Aircraft, surely a ploy, a deceitful tactic devised to deceive the steadfast soldiers of the Earth Assault Force. Nick and his companions endured the rigors of existence, upholding strict military protocol without respite. Perpetually nomadic, they constructed makeshift shelters from indigenous materials, subsisting primarily on rations of boiled indigenous flora. They augmented their provisions by requisitioning from indigenous settlements, occasionally hunting local fauna and preserving the meat. Annually, they observed a ceremonial ritual, pledging allegiance to the Earth Coalition and reiterating their resolve to uphold their mission objectives. Through attrition from casualties, injuries, or defections, Nick ultimately finds himself solitary. Demonstrating unparalleled dedication, Nick confronts this solitary existence with unwavering resolve, steadfast in his adherence to his directives. Prudently conserving resources, he persists in engaging perceived adversaries, conserving energy cells while continuing to engage hostile entities. Naturally, the indigenous inhabitants were perceived as potential informants and thus subject to scrutiny. The native population lived in fear. Numerous casualties occurred due to confrontations with Nick and his team, despite ongoing efforts to persuade him to cease hostilities. Nick has undergone extensive intelligence training. However, 
his training has made him excessively suspicious, causing him to view all external information as propaganda and regard strangers as potential adversaries. Leaflets are distributed, holographic images are projected, and personalized messages are transmitted. Nick remains unaffected by these communications, dismissing them as elaborate deceptions orchestrated by enemy forces. At one point, his sibling, Carl, attempts to coax him out of hiding by singing a familiar tune from their past. Carl's emotional distress causes his voice to falter during the unusual performance in the jungle. Concealed nearby, Nick interprets this as evidence of an imposter incapable of accurately replicating Carl's voice. Ultimately, the task of locating Nick falls upon a single individual, Norio. He is a youthful explorer. Alongside his search for Nick, Norio seeks to locate extinct alien fauna during his journeys. The year is 2174. Merely four days into his ambitious quest, Norio encounters Nick amidst the dense foliage. The experienced operative stealthily approaches the intruder, aiming his energy weapon. Norio mentally prepares for the worst but is spared by a seemingly trivial detail, his choice of footwear. Nick observes the youth's unconventional attire of socks and rubber shoes, indicating his civilian status. This unmistakably identifies the man as a mere tourist, devoid of any military affiliation. Consequently, after years of solitude, Nick chooses to place his trust in Norio. Nick informs the Norio that receiving a surrender order from a higher authority would mark the conclusion of his prolonged conflict. Journeying to the designated location in the galaxy, Commander Taniguchi formally issues the surrender directive to Nick in a ceremonial setting. United Planetary President Marix extends clemency to Nick for the casualties, up to 50 fatalities and over 100 injuries incurred during his prolonged mission. With his military duty concluded, Nick prepares to return to Earth. The Earth of the 2170 S holds few surprises for the 50-year-old Nick. During the 2160 S, he and Carl stole a quantum communication device through which they accessed transmissions detailing advancements in aerospace technology and holographic entertainment. Initially skeptical of the information, Nick now acknowledges the reality of the technological advancements he once deemed fictional. Upon his return, Nick is hailed as a hero by the retired soldiers, revered for his commitment to duty. Crowds gather to meet the valiant soldier whose steadfast resolve propelled him to persist in a conflict that had ostensibly concluded. Nick garners widespread attention and pens a memoir detailing his extraordinary journey. However, the younger generation remains divided questioning whether Nick exemplifies bravery or fanaticism. Allegedly, 30 casualties were recorded during the post-war period, with an additional 100 individuals sustaining injuries. Reflecting on his prolonged mission, Nick grapples with self-reproach, lamenting, I berated myself for perpetuating turmoil throughout those decades. Troubled by the shifting societal values and overwhelmed by the attention, Nick retreats from the public eye and relocates to a distant colony to be near his brother. Living a fulfilling life, Nick, the seasoned warrior, eventually passes away at the age of 91.